Hey everyone, today we are going to solve the little code question ransom node. Okay, so let me explain with this example. Ransom node is A, B, C, D, E, and the magazine is A, A, B, B, C, D, E. So simply, uh, we count each character of magazine and uh, count each character of uh, ransom node. So we can solve this question, right? So to do that, uh, we use hash map to count each number of magazine. So let's count uh, each character of magazine. So in the end, so let's say hash name is, let's say magazine hash equal. So uh, we have two A, two B, one C, and the one D, and the one E. So in the end, we have this hash map. Okay, next, let's count each character of ransom node. So basically, we subtract minus one from magazine hash, and uh, we have two important points. So first point is current character is not in magazine hash. In that case, we should return false immediately. And uh, another important point is if count of current character is now zero, in that case, we should return false immediately. So um, let's see one by one. Okay, the first character in ransom node is A. So in that case, subtract minus one from A. So that is one. And then move next. So we find B. So subtract minus one from B. And then move next. So we find C. So subtract minus one from C. So that is zero. And then we find D. So subtract minus one from D. And then find E. So subtract minus one from E. Then finish iteration. So now we reach end of ransom node. So that means we can create ransom node with magazine. So in that case, we should return true. Okay, quickly, let's think about a false case. So let's continue from the last part. And what if we have x here? So in that case, so when we find e, so we subtract minus one from e, right? And then that is zero. So that's why we should return true. But now we have x. So move next, and then we find x. But there is no x in hash map, right? So in that case, we should return false. Easy, right? And another case is, so what if we have e instead of x here? So in that case, uh, we try to find e in hash map, and we have e, right? But uh, so uh, count of e is already zero. So in that case, uh, there's no extra e in hash map. So in that case, uh, we cannot create a ransom node with magazine, right? We are short of uh, e. So in that case, we should return false. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. Let's jump into the code. Okay, so let's write the code. First of all, create a hash map. So let's say maga hash. And then, so first of all, count uh, each character of magazine. So for car, not count, character in magazine. And then maga hash key should be character equal one plus maga hash dot get and the key should be current character and the default value is zero. And then after that, let's iterate through ransom node for character in um, ransom node. And then check if current character not in maga hash or, so let me copy this, magazine hash and the key should be current character is less than or equal zero. So in the case, we should return false immediately. If not the case, just um, add minus one, subtract minus one from um, hash map. So uh, hash magazine hash and the current character 
minus equal one. And then return true if we iterate through until uh, end of uh, ransom node. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of m multiply n. m is the length of magazine, and n is the length of ransom node. And the space complexity is, I think, O1. So we have a constraint. So input array is consisted of only English lowercase letters. So that means we have 26 alphabet, right? So that means um, space complexity is order of 26, so which is O1. OK, so let me explain solution two. OK, in solution two, we take a unique characters of ransom node and uh, count them in both strings. To get the uh, unique characters of ransom node, we use set. So if we use set for ransom node, so we will get A, B, C, D, E, right? So let's count each character in both strings. So first of all, we find A. And I try to find A in both strings. So ransom node has 2A. So ransom node has 2A. And uh, how about magazine? So magazine also has 2A, right? So magazine equal 2. So in the case, um, we can create a A part, right? Because they are same. So if frequency of each character of magazine is less than ransom node, uh, we should return false immediately, right? Because we cannot create a ransom node with magazine. So now A part is the same, so we can create A part. So let's move next. Try to find B in both strings. So we have 2B in ransom node, and we have 2B in magazine, right? So 2 and 2, so they are same. So we can create a B part. So move next, and I try to find C. So ransom node has 2C, right? And uh, on the other hand, magazine has 1C. So now we are short of 1C, right? So that's why we cannot create a ransom node with magazine. So in that case, we should return false. Yeah, so that is a basic idea to solve this question. So let's jump into the code. OK, so let's write the code. First of all, check length. So if length of ransom node is greater than length of magazine, so in that case, definitely we cannot create a, a ransom node with magazine, right? So in that case, we should return false. If not the case, so let's count the uh, unique character of ransom node. So for character, so this is a unique character. In So we use set and uh, runs, run sum node. And then if maga, magazine dot count and the unique character is less than ransom node dot count and the character. So in that case, we should return false immediately. And then if we reach end of um, unique character, in that case, we should return true. Oops, true. Yeah, so let me submit it. Yeah, looks good. And the time complexity of this solution should be order of k multiply m plus n. So k is the number of unique characters in ransom node, and m is the length of magazine, and n is the length of ransom node. And the space complexity is uh, so same as solution one, order of 26, so that means O1. Yeah, so that's all I have for you today. Please support me with your actions, such as comment and hitting the like button. I'll see you in the next question.